out of Lions and the man who has given uh, the giant flash screen to motivate his work as a captain for Hart of Oak, Ruben Yan. Uh, big centre back Iborian. He's been one of the best you know, players for Hart of Oak. Hassan trying to pick his brother up up front. He's always Rubinian, the centre back uh, for the last 15 minutes or so. He has actually been a lovely header here. And so, for saying no, well, timely intervention from uh, the captain for Crow Heart of Hope, Rubinian. Had it not been for that, it would have been a decent. I think that the opening 20 minutes of the second half went to sleep, but once again, a good ball from Mumu distributing the balls, and Robin Yang was there to near the BRC. You know, time already elapsed. How will House of Hope bounce back? Well, they do have the strength because when it is not over yet, House of Hope will never make it. What he can do, and the House fans, you know, they know what Hayford can provide when he's. You know, fully fit. And it's beginning to be an interesting game this afternoon here. Oh, just chopped there. And again, a crowd to hook. Lovely play from them. Oh, beautiful pass again. And score from this angle. El Coro. Nothing pretty much. And so trying to get the balls away. Now, what could have normally do is that... And again, there's a Ruben Yant's effort. And playing his role perfectly. And again, Kumasiya Santi got it. Nearly, you know, striking goal number two for Kotoko. And look at that intervention. He intercepted well. The captain of House of Hope, Ruben Yant. You know, fresh from extending his contract with the club. Now the empty NFA Cup semi-final game, and of course that's going to be a And definitely has given Hearts of Hope that goal here. A big greatest in field to keep the tap on him, and watch Inusa, goalkeeper flat-footed. And the ball went straight, you know, into the twine. Midfielder. A bit interesting looking at how to talk and Kumasiya Sante Kotoko struggling to have their grip on the Premier League, giving them a show of their sports. But I wish you trying to go around Ruben Yan. And Ruben Yan doing so, two more things at the back now for and a bit of a shush buckling skills there. Oh, lovely water. A pass now, and uh, Ruben Yan just talked about him. <laughs> Marty here, Olympics, Rubinyan. The decent stuff to each there, but hard to fuck with. Kumi came close to scoring one on one situation with. Got in a chump. In a chump. Of course, the uh, and this time there will be Yamwa, Yan. break free here, and there he goes, and Ruben Yan will be the man. The first round will be at. Uh, that's a loss, maybe, or a gain. And leaving nothing to chance. Bon. You know, Robin Yan will have to stay. I mean, he's growing stronger. That was the tackle, the heels of the Ivorian. The physicality of the game. Well, was. It was one opportunity here for Inter. 
And well cleared away by Olympics Kwame Boateng and Ruben Yan for defence. Lots of minutes left. Nice, lovely one-two play there from Olympics. Well, the has both scored against us France here on the third minute, but... Uh, Well, his defensive prowess has always been encouraging. And Ruben Yan has always been the big centre man at the back. Just can't go around him. In the area of uh, Crown Great Olympics. Ruben Yan. Press it to the left, to the right-hand side. Oh, that was a lovely defence splitting pass here. Mohamed Patel. And off again for the action to continue. And the man who was given the, the giant flash screen to motivate his work as a captain for Hartford, for Ruben Yan. Well, big centre-back Iborian. He's been 